hi guys welcome to the channel so today i'm going for a wedding hey babe say hi hi so we are going out carrie say hi carla say hi yeah so we are going out for a wedding ceremony and yeah i hope to bring you guys along and you know we have fun together six hours later hi guys welcome back to the channel okay Janikos is my name and i'm glad to have you here but if you have not subscribed to this channel i'm not your friend <laughs> if you have not subscribed to this channel move to the left that's where you belong those that have subscribed give yourself a good clap a round of applause and please subscribe to my channel please uh -uh. don't you want me to enjoy youtube money too don't you want me to get monetized subscribe to my channel watch this video till the end all of you that you come to this channel you click two minutes you are looking for gist you don't see gist you go no stay to the end because i know that you are going to learn something from this video so it's not just about you know maybe you clicked because you saw the intro but it's not just about that okay stay to the end and um you you you'll be blessed okay and so i make content on kingdom family kingdom marriage kingdom parenting on this channel we are gracefully advancing the frontiers of god's kingdom so today i'm talking to you something very simple practical that you can apply in your marriage and today i'm talking to you about extending grace to your spouse one of the things i have noticed is that a lot of people do not extend grace to their spouse what does it mean to extend to extend means to intentionally increase the measure or the length of something so today i'm telling you that it should intentionally increase the length of love the length of endurance the length of patience the length of long suffering that you have for your spouse and the very first thing i want you to understand is that your spouse is a human being say it with me your spouse is a human being and one of the things or one of the attributes of human beings is that they make mistakes yes so when you have this understanding that the person you are married to is not perfect then it will you know make you to be more patient and understanding with them man is spirit soul and body yes and you know interestingly in marriage one of the areas that you will you know interact majorly with your spouse is with their body yes their humanity you will interact with their humanity even if you're married to a pastor they will not come to the house and there'll be a pulpit for them to preach no you are married to a human being so understand that essentially that your spouse is a human being and they will make mistakes it's not a matter of might they will make mistakes and you are saying oh this person talks too much this person does this too much just yourself if someone starts you know counting the areas where you are deficient you'll be amazed at what you need to work on so be patient extend extra grace extra patience extra long suffering to your spouse you don't have to react to everything you don't have to make side comments about everything sometimes the best thing to do is to be quiet yes to be quiet it's not everything you have to complain about it's not everything you have to say hey i know i know this is how you behave but no 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 okay the second thing i want to talk about is that give room for growth yes give room for growth i have grown in so many ways and so also my spouse has grown in so many ways probably you know you're newly married and the person has some habits that you're not quite you know okay with them give room for growth and communication communicate your thoughts communicate what you want them to do communicate how you would want them to be better and when i say communicate i'm not saying complain it's a different ball game when you know you are telling or you are talking to someone okay so let me <laughs> so today yeah we went for an occasion and on our way back my husband was talking to me about something I was like you know i don't want to say it on this channel <laughs> because people are very interested yeah but he communicated something to me in a very pleasant soft 
and very calm ways i said i will change i will change okay yeah so learn how to communicate it's not just about complaining communicating is different from complaining when you are complaining about something you are not really seeing the good in that thing but when you communicate when you um you know express yourself in a godly way so to say for lack of words it's not about shouting it's not shouting that does the work in fact <laughs> it's not complaining that does the work talk to them communicate with them in a very pleasant and you know very sweet way and you'll be amazed at how that communication can bring about you know unexpected changes and also remember that doing marriage without god is like trying to you are not reading the manufacturer's manual okay whatever area it is that you would love to see a change in your partner make sure you are praying about it make sure you are praying for them make sure that beyond your communication you're, you're speaking apostle paul said my words they are not enticing words of men but demonstrations of the power of the holy spirit is the holy spirit that changes people is the one that causes men to see the wrong in whatever it is they are doing so beyond communication make sure that you are praying make sure that you know you are encouraging your spouse make sure that you're speaking life to them it's easier for somebody to accept their fault when they know that the person talking to them is not talking from the place of you know hatred or from the place of this is who you are or this is how you are but the person is talking from a place of i want the best for you like what i to, um you know uh, the instance i gave earlier about my husband communicating to me and the way he said it i knew that he was saying it from i want the best for you you are my wife in fact it started by saying you're beautiful you are you get it so make sure that you are whatever it is you're doing right you are saying it you are encouraging them you are you are appreciative before you now you know talk about the area that you would like them to change so extend grace to them okay don't be hyper reactive don't be too temperamental okay don't always find room to complain don't be that spouse that is always on the lookout for you for a fault but make sure you're talking you're encouraging and you're saying sweet words to your partner have you subscribed have you subscribed subscribe to this channel okay yeah so that's all i have for you today please make sure you like this video share with somebody that you know that is married or someone that is planning to get married and you will love them to be blessed by this video till i come your way next time bye bye god bless you